Right, this is going to be a drippy slippy mug, but with a slight difference. I'll link to the blog post on how I do them normally. Um, normally, I make the clay slip literally from the same clay I throw in, it's just the dried trimmings with water added, and then I'll colour it and apply it to the body. Now in this case, what I've done is I took a clay slip recipe, um, I actually altered it slightly, but that's pure slip, and then I turned it incrementally into a glaze. I mean, it's slightly under fired still, but broadly speaking, that's a semi-glossy glaze, and then in increments. So the closer it gets to that, the more vitrified and glossy it will become and the further away this end it's still slick. So I'm going to use something kind of probably probably that one. I think I'm testing this one at the moment, but it'll be one of those two I think. And what that means is you get a semi-glossy slip um, rather than just a pure slip. I'm not sure it's going to work, but um, here it goes. So what you need to do is have thrown a piece and let it dry for a few hours. I threw this this morning and have a pre-made handle. I extrude mine. You can actually buy the extruder dies that I use. I've got a set, a few sets of them made by a laser cutting company. It's just a rounded rectangle in a few different sizes so I can match it to the, the size of the piece. Uh, extrude those a few hours before you need them. Let them dry so they're, you know, they're firm enough that you can do that but not fully dry. Which means the dryness of the two are matched. There should be no issue with different shrinkage rates then you just need to dry it slowly enough that it dries evenly. So let's try applying the slip and see what happens. These giant syringes come, well I get them from Amazon, I mean you can get them anywhere that people need giant syringes, kind of vet supplies and pharmacy supplies and so on, but um, you can get them from Amazon for not a whole lot of money and they're very useful for applying slips and glazes like this. In theory the handle can be attached using just the slip on the piece actually. Yeah, probably do. It's a bit thinner than I intended but maybe that would be a good thing to test. Um, the slip will stick the handle in place. You don't actually need to do anything else. You don't need to score it. I mean, it probably would be preferable, but um, at this stage you can't. So it's easiest to find the best spot to attach it and just attach it like so. Um, the slip will hold it in place. And the normal slip, at least, would attach it permanently as well as it would if you scored and slipped it normally. Not 100% certain with this one, it might do. Um, but you get a really nice shape around the handle where it displaces the slip. So in theory you can just leave it like that. Normally I would clear glaze it on the outside. Um, possibly this slip being closer to a gloss glaze means that I don't have to. Um, but I will see about that. Gonna dry it slowly over the next week or so, um, and then I can fire it and see.